What's cooking everybody? Dave Altizer here with Kino Tika. Today we're in Overcast, Huntington Beach, California, getting ready for VidCon. But first, top 10 things to know about the brand new DJI Ronin S. We are gonna be doing an official review of the Ronin S, but for now we're here. We're gonna have some fun at VidCon. We're putting out a ton of videos while we're here. So if you're excited about that, let us know in the comment section below. But first, the number one thing to know about the Ronin S is the price. If you weren't aware, in the market of handheld gimbals, this gimbal is actually really affordable. It's $700, but compared to the Zion Crane 2, which is kind of its competitor, this gimbal is actually $50 cheaper than the Zion Crane. In fact, if you compare this to Ronin's own Ronin M, the Ronin M is $900. And it's honestly not as feature rich as this gimbal is. So in the long run, DJI has really priced this thing pretty fair. The second thing to know about the Ronin S is its build quality. The build quality of this thing is honestly amazing. The handling, the way that this grip here is just designed in such a way that your hand just naturally holds it. You, you really need to hold one to see what I'm talking about. But the rubber here is really soft to hold it. And one little thing that I noticed about the S that I really love is the thought and care that went into these tripod legs. They come on and off on the bottom here, but one really cool thing about them is DJ actually put that soft rubber on the legs themselves. So when the tripod legs are completely collapsed, it's held just like a handle and it feels really comfortable. The third thing to know about the DJI Ronin S is the payload on this thing is awesome. It's up to eight pounds on this thing. I'm not even maxing it out here with my giant 1DC. In fact, DJI has shown that you can actually put a red Epic on this system. Now obviously it's gonna be heavy and your arm is gonna get tired and I can tell you right now, my biceps are working really hard, harder than normal. But because the Ronin S has such a high payload, you can really use almost any camera on this system. The fourth thing to know about the Ronin S is the charging options. Now obviously the Ronin comes with its own charger and you charge it right here and the batteries actually come out from the unit here and so you can hot swap the batteries if you need to. But one other really interesting thing about the Ronin S is the power out options here on the front. You can actually power all sorts of different cameras with the DJI accessories coming out of the 12 volt amp. It, it could power your monitor, it could power your focus wheels and motors, it could even power your camera. So there's a lot of great charging options with that. But one thing that I actually really love about the Ronin S is the fact that it has a USB-C charging port right here, which you can use with your MacBook Pro charger. If you have any of the newer MacBook Pros, you can actually use that charger to charge the Ronin S. Pretty cool. The fifth thing to know about the DJI Ronin S is the camera integration. What does that mean? Well, as of right now, the only cameras that do all the amazing things are from Panasonic. What I'm talking about is specifically with this focus knob. If you have a Panasonic GH5, for example, you can use the included cable, plug it into your GH5, and completely control the focus using this knob. So that's really awesome, and most gimbals don't have that. DJI has said that they're talking to Sony and Canon about these features. Sony has start stop. There's actually a little record button here and you can do that with Canon as well. We haven't seen the focus knob integration yet with Sony or Canon cameras, but hopefully that will come very soon. Which leads me to the sixth thing to know about the Ronin S and that is with this focus controller with some accessories that are coming soon from DJI, we'll be able to power motors for focus, iris and zoom using the 12 amp out power solution here and with the focus knob integration again not only can you use focus by wire lenses with the gh cameras but in the future if you're using like a red or a camera that just doesn't even have any type of autofocus built in you can buy the gears and the motors and completely control that using the focus knob so really cool accessories coming soon and that leads me to another topic, number seven, all the amazing accessories that are possible with this thing. Honestly, I don't really even know what can happen with the Ronin S. It's really up to manufacturer's creativity. We do know that Ronin is making some hand grips so that you could use this in the traditional gimbal type setup. As you can see here, I've kind of retrofitted my small HD focus monitor to mount on here. I would love it if small HD made an actual mount for the Ronin S. I really think that over the next couple of years, we're gonna be seeing companies like Tilta, Small Rig, you know, small HD, all these different companies making accessories, mounts, different solutions for this system. And that's what's so cool about a small handheld gimbal. 
is the potential to just rig it out and do things that you've never thought of. The eighth thing to know about the Ronin S is the three customizable modes. You can actually have one, two, three different modes that you completely set inside of the app. I personally have mode number one set to a nice smooth motion. If I switch it to mode two like so, it's a faster motion. And then three can be, I don't know, anything else that you want. You can even tilt the roll axis. You typically don't want the roll, which is this way, to ever tilt. You can do that on mode three. So it's really up to you what you want to set, but I love the fact that I can just quickly go mode one, mode two, mode three. So nice. Number nine is the iPhone app or Android app. What's really great about the app, I'm obviously using my phone right now to record my audio, but what's really great about the app is the customization and the ability to do things completely wirelessly. What do I mean by that? Well, you can set your Ronin down on the ground and control left, right, up, down from the app, or you can do a time-lapse mode so you can just like walk really slow and have it just tilt very slowly up. You can have a point A, point B integration with the app. It's just, again, it's limitless. You can completely auto-tune the gimbal using the app. It's staying connected. It's always working. Nothing like a good iPhone app that is reliable. And last and most important, the 10th thing to know about the DJI Ronin S is it's smooth like butter. If the gimbal's not smooth, then none of the features even matter. I've battle tested this for the last week and I've honestly found that with the right settings, the Ronin S is actually super duper smooth. It reminds me a lot of my experience using the Freefly Movi M5. In fact, at this point, I don't think I'll ever really want to use the M5 because this is just so much more convenient and it has so many more features. In a lot of ways, the Ronin M and just this handheld gimbal setup is more of an upgrade for somebody who's used to using a glide cam than just a traditional gimbal system. If you're wondering, should I buy a handheld gimbal like this or a traditional Ronin or Movi style gimbal, then you really need to think about that. Are you more of a single shooter? Are you somebody that's working on a crew? If you're working on a crew and you have multiple people, maybe the older style gimbal is best for you. But for me and for most people who are just single operator shooters, the Ronin S is honestly the best gimbal on the market. Now, like I said earlier, we are gonna be doing a bunch of other videos using the Ronin S in the future, but for now, we're here in California at VidCon, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to see all the reviews of the Ronin S and any VidCon videos. We may have a live stream coming soon. Follow me on Twitter, at Dave Altizer, and let me know if you're here at VidCon. We'd love to meet you. Once again, I'm Dave Altizer. This is California. See you next time.